uh, we're live with AirPlay 21. Welcome to AirPlay 21. It's been an interesting year so far, and we keep bringing you more and more exciting work. Today is a short play by moi, and it was constructed in a very interesting way at uh, the Cosmic Orchids Conscious Glass Residency, which meant that we looked at pieces of glass with these glass blowers, and then we had to write a play about what we were inspired by the glass. So um, we talked about it in a group with actors, and we had a director, and we made the pieces from that. So it's interesting, Cosmic Orchid is a very, very fine company headed by a wonderful, wonderful artistic director and founder, Liz Amadeo. And uh, it was a very interesting piece that I share with you today. And it has uh, a lot of reflections for life and life right now. So without further ado, I give you to my lovely co-host, Carrie Wesolowski, and she'll tell you about the play, the playwright and the players. Thanks, Connie. Connie Kaffinger's Layers was created as a commissioned collaboration for the Cosmic Orchid Theater Company for their war, for our Dear Project 2.0 Conscious Glass Co Residency in 2018. As the artistic director of Airplay and Determined Women, Connie understands the necessity of the creative process, especially in times like these, and she is grateful to bring you this work. Thanks to all of the wonderful artists that contribute and as always, we always welcome new actors and artists in their contributions. And now let me introduce our players today. God will be played by Christy Donahue. Christy's acting credits span traditional theater, interactive dinner theater, commercial and film work, and stage readings, in person, online, and via live stream. When not acting, Christy enjoys other creative pathways, such as mixed media, collage art, and wreath making. Girl will be played by Brandy Chapman. Brandy Chapman is an actress and singer from Kentucky, having performed in the United States, Ireland, and Italy, and is currently devising her own pieces during this quarantine time. Boy will be played by Claude Isbell. Claude was a child actor doing commercials and theater. He's recently gotten the acting bug back while studying acting and directing with Austin Pendleton. He's been cutting his teeth on airplay by playing a snake, the Grim Reaper, and anything else they throw at him. And now, Layers by Connie Kopfinger. Layers is a play on life and how people come into being, how they choose to evolve, or why they do not. Hey, let's try the teeter totter so we can see saw. Oh, come play with me. Get away from me. I'm tired of playing with you. I want to be born now. I need to get on with my life. I think today is the day. Why? Because it's my life, you ass. Why today? Because this is our birthday. What's with you, anyhow? You have like like no drive you never want to do anything it's annoying well i do want to do one thing yeah i know all about that you are so shallow <laughs> thank you that was an insult try wanting something that doesn't include me i don't know at least it's defining I mean, shallow it's not so bad is it yeah right it defines you as one step up from a slug. Seriously, boy, get your shit together. Pretty soon God is going to give you an allotted time and place. It's up to you to do something with it. I just like playing, you know, here, there. But you can't. This time is different. We've been passed over for centuries. Yeah, we're a match made in heaven. I hope they keep us together. Who cares? I do. 
what the what the hell is that blinding light all about? Shh, listen. Oh, it's okay. It's it's God. She's coming today to give us our earthly assignment. There she is. I don't see her. Her radiance precedes her. I wish I could be like her, you know? So cool. Girl, what if she splits us up? So? So what? I like being with you. Come on, you make me feel you make me feel so good about myself. Wow, that's really selfish. Stop it. Here she comes. Don't you like me too? Yes, but nothing lasts forever, so stop pining or she may leave us here in the playground for another million years. Shh. But I need to tell her how I feel. Okay, but just don't piss her off. This is exciting. Wow, you're so small. You look so much bigger when you're up there. I know, I know. Everyone is shocked at first sight. It's all an illusion. It's all created through smoke and mirrors, reflections of reflections of reflections. Well, in any case, it's wonderful to meet you, Miss God. Miss God, thank you. And the pleasure is all mine. Uh, wait, God, where are you taking us? I mean, I'm curious and a little afraid. I, I Rude, let her take the lead. Where are your manners, boy? Sorry about that, God. No, it's okay. Many of your kind are reluctant to face adaptation. You know we're not supposed to question God. But I don't know what to expect. For the first time, the first time I feel really good about myself. I like my life here. Here with you, girl. I mean, you make me happy. Come on, we connect so well. I don't mean only physically. I mean, well, well, that's part of it. But more than that, I, I think it's love. Stop this. It's embarrassing. I'm not kidding. Everyone talks about love, but I think we found it. God did not come here to listen to your philosophical discourse. No, no, it's okay. Many of your kind are resistant to change. Young man, let me explain something to you. You say your life here is good, that you are content, but this isn't life. You're not really living in this condition. You're merely existing in the soup. This is the cosmic soup. It's the primordial stew that forms new life. But now you two have evolved into living forms. You have created your own consciousness. You have evolved, and so you may advance to the next stratosphere of existence. Okay, okay, but can you keep us together? I mean, oh. we really like each other. Here we go. Well, sure, that's a possibility. Maybe you could be born as twins, if she agrees to it. Perfect. Whatever. But you'll need to give up the sexual attraction. What? 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 Works for me. You can't expect to have sex with your sister. No? Why? I mean, I, that's the best part. I really don't want to lose her. Okay. She, we, complete each other. Right, girl? Let me back up, please, huh? Oh, I don't know. I think I'm really ready for a change. Nothing can last forever. Well, maybe I could allow you to become dogs. I mean, I was considering humans, but you don't have to be. That sounds cool. I like dogs. I can get off on that. Oh, I bet you could. Don't you even think about sniffing me, boy. Okay, make us dogs. No! Can I be a poodle? A standard poodle with those long, long legs? No! Make her a little sexy. Stop! I do not want to be a dog. Not now, not ever. Can you give us a few minutes? You know, I mean, we need to discuss this. No, there is nothing to discuss. Just let's split up. It's cool. You'll be fine. Whoa, just, just whoa. You know, this really hurts. It just hurts, you know. I need, I need your love. Without you, I think I might as well just go back to being a sponge. Seriously, boy, get over yourself. Whoa, really? Listen to you. Look. This is how love gets contaminated. You start clouding the reality of things. 
love, pure love, needs to remain transparent. This, this is not love. I don't believe that you don't love me. Look, boy, there's nothing more frustrating than trying to tell someone who thinks that they are in love with you that they are not really in love with you. I think I would know. No, you wouldn't. That's your problem. You think you know what everybody is thinking. That cuts me deep. You know what I'm saying? I mean, why are you doing this to me? Furthermore, I am not in love with you even though you call this love. It doesn't mean I call it love. To me, what I think is love is not this. <gasps> Jesus, I cannot believe we are standing here in front of God and you want to start an argument. This is what I don't like about you. You know, you're really hurting my feelings. God, I want to be a human. I've got a right to my own life, you know. You ought to be ashamed of yourself, boy. No, no, it's okay. Many of your kind are reluctant to adapt. Okay. So I don't mean to be difficult or piss anyone off here, but I need her. I really do not want to go off on my own. I don't know if I could survive on my own, okay? Oh my God. Uh, no offense, God. You are so callous. Me? Yes, you. You're only concerned about you right now. You act like you hate me. You're an animal. Don't you come at me like that, boy, or I'll eat you alive. You know, you never used to be like this. How would you know? I'm sorry, God. We shouldn't be. Oh, no. You don't speak for me, boy. I'm sorry, girl. Am I not allowed to say what I feel anymore? Besides, God knows what I'm feeling right now. She knows everything, right? Yes. Yes, I do. And thank you for remembering that, boy. Luck, luck. You two, stop now. It really shouldn't be this difficult. Life is merely a process. You are all merely a splintered reflection of the divine. You're all a piece of me. But sometimes during this process of transmigration from one stage to the next, you pick up terrestrial fibers. It's fourth dimensional. It creates a mind trip, like a dream plays games with time and space and, and therefore you feel like you can control your own destinies. Like you think you knew each other before or, or you have an intense sense of longing to find your soulmate. Sounds complicated. I just want to be a normal, ordinary human. I want that. What? To find you again. Why? Because I really, really love you. No matter how you define it, please say yes. Well, what do you think, God? I can definitely make that happen for you. Again, you must both agree. It's like projecting a hologram of truth so that you sense each other beyond space and time. Please. Holograms of truth. Cool concept. I like it. So let's do it. Are there any health risks involved? No, not really. Just heartaches sometimes. What, what do you mean? Heartaches? Well, sometimes they never find each other. And sometimes they find each other too late and their love is forbidden. Sometimes there is too much time or distance between them. You mean we could find each other but not be able to? Yes, that's exactly what she's saying. But who cares? It's all just a role to play. Let's just do this before we miss our chance to be born. The hours are ticking by. It'll be tomorrow soon. Okay. Do you both agree? Yes. Yes. So be it.